Hey y'all, it's March, March the 30th, 2017, and you know, in this uh, day that we're living in, uh, all the way balls deep up in the renaissance, you're going to have a lot of people, a lot of people out there, much, much more people delivering to you the news and not only that their uh, their take on the news and there's going to be a lot of faces there already is a lot of faces you know we come to know quite a number of people who are out there doing their thing covering uh, current events uh, spitting some hot fire on the internet and on the radio there's a lot of them right? a lot of them out there and we get to know some of them. We might know some of them in our periphery. And, you know, we get to know some of them even better. We come to trust them to bring us the news, to tell us their opinions about the news. Um, there's a lot of people out there, right? A lot of people. We don't have time to talk about all those people today. But we are going to bring up two of those people that you might know out there. If you're out there, sir searching for the truth if you're out there uh trying to get to the nitty gritty you might you might be aware of glenn beck for number one and tommy loren for number two you probably already know who they are out there if you don't know who they are out there trust me a lot of people do all right and recently they had a falling out I guess you know because Tommy Loran went on the View. I mean, this is a big, expansive network of people who talk. They even talk about uh, current events and their ideas about it on the View, which is a terrible show. I mean, it's just a bunch of ladies cackling, but uh, they do talk about it. They they do talk about this stuff even on the View. And so Tommy Loran went on the View on television, and you know she got caught up for saying that you know she believes in women's right uh, to have abortions if they want to or the, the government having nothing to do with it she said that a little while later had a falling out with the blaze which is the enterprise that glenn beck owns and operates all right we all know glenn beck's a mormon and he cries a lot he's very spiritual uh so you know people got wind of it they understood well she was fired she was fired immediately why because she was saying uh things that were pro-abortion in a way, uh, she would probably argue that she was saying things that were more pro-choice. In a way, as far as the fact she didn't want the government legislating over a lady's body, and then Glenn Beck and his associates say, "You know what? We can't have nothing to do with that. We're gonna have to can you." Now, uh, Tommy Lauren has been stirring up a lot of controversy, you know, since she's been in the public spotlight. All right, so this should have been uh, par for the course, but ho however, it just rubbed Glenn Beck the wrongest way, and he went ahead and he uh, got rid of her. Now, apparently, they're having some sort of altercation over the rights to it, some sort of Facebook page that I was uh, not a subscriber to. All right, apparently, it has 4 million subscribers, and now they're trying to figure out, well, who has ownership over this Facebook page uh, after this whole separation of Tommy Loren from the blaze which isn't very incredible I just do have to go into the, the, um, this you know the people on the blaze are gonna say a lot of things that I might agree with but it's completely incredible incredible it's, it's not credible the the source of the blaze and a lot of people would disagree with me but what I got to tell you is uh, it's a very watered down version of things that I do like that's what the blaze is a very watered down version of things that I do like but I don't like that I don't like how it's watered down all right and I just want to throw out throw that out there so now Tommy Lorraine and the blaze are having you know a little bit of a uh, negotiations going on it's a little bit of friction going on there due to a Facebook page which doesn't even make sense it, you know it kind of shows to how um, outlandish and how off the mark these folks are because the thing is in the world of Facebook you'll find uh, that person if, if you were looking for Tommy Lorraine then you like to hear her ideas. Not only that, you like to see her smoking hot body. And don't nobody try to 
debate against that. It is a smoking hot body, and everybody knows that. See, the thing is, that's how she gets most of her appeal. People see a smoking hot body, and they'll see a, like a headline saying something that they might like. They click on it, and then from there, they become a subscriber. And so it has nothing to do with The Blaze. I know The Blaze gave her some money, and The Blaze was the one who started her up, so to speak. But people come to... a uh, Tommy Lorraine, I have to I have to tell you, and I don't come to her very much for anything, but people come to her to see a smoking hot lady talking about all sorts of stuff, talking about like a firecracker. She's all fiery and stuff. That's what people like, and so it, it, the Facebook page really doesn't even matter. Uh, you know, it makes me wonder who who's uh I mean, how critical is this Facebook page? Who who whose idea was it to bicker over the Facebook page and negotiate over it and stuff like that? All right. A Facebook page could be rebuilt, especially when you have a smoking hot body, and um, you know, what I'm saying you say some things that some people like. Like I said, I don't really, uh, I don't really subscribe to Tommy Lorraine. I know she exists, just like I know Charlemagne the God exists, and he says some smart things sometimes too. Don't subscribe to either one of these people. I don't. All right, but I do have to put this out there. You know. It's kind of funny because she has been kicking up dust since she was on The Blaze. Now she kicks up a little bit of dust. It almost seems like a publicity stunt done by Glenn Beck because the thing is her, her contract was about to be up in September anyways. From what I understand, it was about to be up. So instead of her just leaving willingly, uh, Glenn Beck thought he would try to save face by getting rid of her prematurely over some sort of disagreement. Yeah, they disagree. Right? But here's the problem. Tommy Lorraine might stand for the government staying out of everybody's business. I don't, me too. I agree with that, honestly. Thing is, I don't listen to Tommy Lorraine much, but I'm going to go ahead and agree with it. The government, uh, shoot, maybe it shouldn't have nothing to do with uh, reigning over people's uh, bodies. When it comes to that whole pro-life, pro-choice uh, issue, that topic and stuff, what we need to understand is this. All right, the government is uh, absolutely wackadoodle, all right? And the thing is, maybe we don't like babies getting murdered. Maybe we don't like having to fund it through our taxes and stuff, all right? Maybe this is all sort of things that we don't like. But as far as any of us stopping abortion, it's not never going to happen. Not never, not ever ever in the whole world is abortion going to stop happening until the tribulation's over so you got to count on abortion is still going to be happening so uh why would you want your government poking their head all up in it because your government like i said it's been wackadoodle for a long long time so it's like why are you asking them to fix a problem you shouldn't ask them to fix a problem and the thing is most people aren't asking them to fix a problem most of these pro-life people they just don't want to pay taxes towards the murdering of babies they don't want to be around the murdering of the babies and they say hey look you know you might be doing a very very bad thing you go around murdering your own babies scraping them out of your womb uh but i gotta submit humbly that there's a lot of us out here who have, they just do not care one way or the other about these government legislations. The government uh, has hardly anything to do with myself and what I'm thinking about. And the fact that murdering babies is exactly that. And I don't necessarily want to pay for it. But at the same time, I couldn't care less if they did make a, a law against it. What, what in the world? Since when is the government here to protect us from ourselves? Don't make no sense. Anyways, this is March the 30th, 2017, and I'll have to holler at y'all later.